Whenever I'm looking at purchasing a new smart home product or bringing something into my home, I want it to look fantastic. And that's what I've put together here in our list of products that look beautiful and are smart as well. Amazon just released the new Echo Show 15, which is wall mountable or it can sit on a stand. Plus, it has the ability to be in either landscape or portrait mode. It starts to look amazing in your space when you allow it to display your photos or art that is curated by Amazon and yourself. Either way, just the device looks great and it's a full Echo Show with Amazon's voice assistant on board. Just watch one thing though, as it's not going to be the most amazing sounding speaker and at $250, you might be expecting that. I'm thinking we might be using Bluetooth to other bigger speakers. I've had this smart lamp in my home for a very long time, but it's just recently become available in North America officially. This is the Yeelight D2 smart lamp, and it works with every voice assistant you could want, Samsung SmartThings, and Apple HomeKit as well. But it's also touch or tap capable, and this makes it a great smart lamp for kids and just on your nightstand. Plus, I've been using it with my Google Nest Hub second generation as that slow brightness ramp up just before my alarm goes off, and it works wonderfully that way. But maybe the most beautiful new lighting fixture in my home is behind me here. That's the Govi Lyra, and it's not brand new by any means, but this is a new LED strip that essentially goes into a base, and it can sit against a wall in the corner of your home and produces unreal effects. The effects and the scenes are literally endless because you can even use your finger to add colors to the light strip. And as you do things like that, you can share those effects and even go pick from effects from a pretty large user community that's creating what are called DIY effects that you can download directly to that lamp. I've also been working on content for this filament LED light bulb. Now I say filament LED because it's not a real filament bulb that's going to use 100 watts of power. It's actually only using 6 watts, but it looks like an older filament bulb. And the special thing about this is that it produces full colors and it's an incredible looking device in your home. That product I've managed to get working with both Google and Amazon voice assistants, but I also managed to get it working with Samsung SmartThings in a bit of a roundabout way. There's a link down below for that full review as well, but I have a bit of a different offering for you. I've been creating some NFTs and I know there's not a ton of knowledge, but I created a few for this light bulb. Now, there's a giveaway link down below for those of you that want to try out NFTs. I'm going to give away one of the ones I designed with this smart bulb through that giveaway link. So check out the terms and conditions and if you'd like to, well, you can get yourself your first NFT. Another great looking product came out from Amazon just last week with the Amazon Glow. This is a video calling device, but it's more than that with an 8 inch display and its ability to project onto a full 19 inch touchpad. It's not necessarily beautiful to be sitting around all the time, but it's amazing to see your kids interacting with grandma and grandpa, especially during this time. The WiseCam Outdoor is getting, and I'm quoting Wise here, camera flogged. It's still the same Wise Cam outdoor you know, but it's got a D-brand skin wrapped around it that they're calling Forest Camo. The new Blink Video Doorbell looks fantastic and for $50 that's a beautiful price for two-way audio, person detection and full HD on a wired or wire-free installation. Plus Blink's also putting out a couple of fixtures with both a floodlight and a solar powered camera. Both have the look and feel of Blink devices but also a little more refined to my eyes. If I was to do this whole video and not talk about new Philips Hue products, well, I'd be making a mistake because they look amazing almost all the time in your home. Just like the Govi Lyra behind me, they have some corner lamps or some floor lamps that would probably sit in similar positions, but what they also have created for this fall are some table lamps with a similar design, and I love that idea. I think that's going to fit in a lot of places because those reflect off of so many surfaces so well, and I think that'll go really good on countertops or side tables. They've also created some filament bulbs with temperature control 
control and there's a candle filament bulb as well although that one doesn't have temperature control one of the other things in the past with many Philips Hue products has been their brightness and I think this is especially true with color lighting as you go and you use color lighting the brightness levels just aren't nearly what you'd need now they have gone across their whole lineup of bulbs and created three different levels of lumen so you can pick from those and still get really bright colored lighting I really like, and forgive me if I massacre this pronunciation, but the Suramu ceiling panels that Hue created and their Hue gradient light tubes. Both of those products are creating really different looks in your home, and I think both of them look amazing. Astro will end up being $1,500 US after it gets out of the day one additions program on Amazon, but for right now, it's $1,000. You'll get a six month trial of Ring Protection Protect Pro and it's capable of monitoring your home including using live view in the Amazon Miss A application. I personally love how cute this thing is and I think it's going to be a really interesting addition to a home as it plays music and follows you while doing so. Plus I think it has cup holders and that's just a beaut right there. You can't talk about beautiful products without talking about the wonderful designs from Apple. And they just released their iPhone 13, the Mini, the Pro, the Pro Max, the whole lineup. All of those products look fantastic. And I especially love the new blue color that I think just works if you're a Twitter user like me. But it's not just about how they look because they're going to produce some beautiful photo and video content for you in your life. One of the biggest problems I've had with Apple iPhones and their cameras is just in low light. But Apple's really worked on this with the new 13 and 13 mini with one of their lenses allowing 50% more light. Plus, they really focus with the ultra wide lens in making sure that the details are going to be there in darker scenes or darker areas of your scene. So, really excited for that. But the thing I'm the most excited about with these cameras is on the Pro and the Pro Max because we have a telephoto lens and we can do macro photography combined with their cinematic mode, which looks like on the fly, you can actually change the focus of your video scene. So these are some incredible technologies and not only do you have an incredible camera, but this is an incredible smart device. The new Apple Watch 7 has some improvements in key places and one of the key ways is that it looks amazing. And of course the previous Apple Watches look great, but around the edges now you're going to notice some extra work having been done by Apple just to make the display look a lot bigger and it's not about the watch actually physically being bigger it just looks that way the other thing that they improved on here is some of the faster charging capabilities and this was one of my problems with a previous Apple Watch 6 that I recently gave away I would always have to take it off at night in order to get it to charge and that charge time was just too long to put it back on and get my sleep tracking done now it's a lot faster and this is going to to improve that tracking as well. All of this on top of their already fantastic health features like ECG. Which brings me to an Apple competitor, and I've owned a lot of their smartwatches, including the more recent Sense and the Versa 2. But what I really loved way back when, when I got my charge, was how small that fitness band was, and that's really what it was. Now the Charge 5 looks amazing, and one of the drawbacks of the old charge versions was their screen wasn't fantastic but that's what's been improved on the new charge 5 coupled with of course their ECG and a lot of their fitness tracking capabilities this is a great fitness tracker one of my favorite features on those Fitbits is the new EDA scanning capability which doesn't look at the color of your skin so to speak but the color changes in your skin to tell you kind of how stressed you are throughout the day. So I like this little bit of a shift into mental health. The Onvis Chameleon is another HomeKit compatible product. Now this is a fully addressable LED strip that's going to allow you to create incredible effects with it. So if you're a HomeKit person, this is definitely something I'd look at because Onvis has been creating HomeKit compatible products for a while. 
And speaking of HomeKit compatible products, well, I've had a lot of Miros products in my home, but what's special about them is they're not just HomeKit compatible, they're gonna do a lot more. Now their air purifier actually looks pretty nice for an air purifier and it's going to do the job. Now the one miss here, as far as I'm concerned, is that there's no PM 2.5 sensor on that. So as long as you've kind of covered PM 2.5 in some other way in your home, Home, you're going to be able to use that and automate the air quality in your home. The new Nest camera that's protecting my home and the new Nest doorbell that's sitting on my front door, I think both of those products look pretty good and I don't think they're getting enough praise for that. Now the Nest doorbell is quite long and I think we can say that about anything that's around six inches, right? One of the most important things about a video doorbell is that number one, it identifies people and packages and other events that you would like and that's what the Nest doorbell does. Plus, people are actually pressing that doorbell even though there's the original doorbell right beside it. So people are noticing it and using it and I'm getting notifications and even the screen coming up on my Nest hubs around my home. I have a full review video down below for you on the Nest doorbell and the Nest camera which also looks incredible, can use a bunch of zones and I think both of those products are really important for how they look within your home because the installation can be so easy as both of them are battery powered. And there will be two more Nest camera releases later this fall. Both of those products already look really great to me and they're gonna have some different use cases. In order to have a beautiful home, well, you gotta have a few things. Number one, the floor's gotta be clean, and I am absolutely loving the narwhal that I have in my home. The base is really big, but honestly, if you can fit it in your space, it actually looks really nice, and it is easily the best robot vacuum I've had in my home to date. Plus it's a mop so it's going to keep your floors looking amazing. But when you head outdoors one of the things that always makes a home look beautiful is a beautiful lawn and I think that an auto mower is a great way to do this but there's always been a couple of gaps with those products. You usually have a guide wire that you have to bury or put around your yard and that might not look so great depending on how you do that and the auto mowers tend to run over the same spots many times and that might not look so fantastic to you so that's where the Segway Navimo is a little bit different. Segways improve their algorithms to make sure that it's not running over the same spots a bunch of times and they don't need a guide wire. And I think this is a great way for number one, me to make a joke and number two for Segway to create a whole new product lineup to segue into. I don't normally associate Ikea with beautiful and to be honest, most of their designs are intended to be inexpensive and functional rather than really beautiful, but they've been partnering with Sonos for a while on some of their speakers and some of their table lamps. And in fact, the original version of the Ikea Symphonist table lamp is something that some people love. It wasn't something that I loved, but their new version here is actually a piece of wall art. That wall art panel is actually interchangeable and I hope Ikea is really focused on creating some new options for us plus giving us maybe a bit more of a community feel to that. Now the other thing that has been leaked very recently is a second version of that Symphonisk lamp. I don't think that this looks beautiful but maybe you do? If you're looking for more beautiful, smart products to put into your home, well, I've created a whole playlist of products that you can go check out, learn more about, and integrate into your home. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and of course, don't hate, automate.